a real easy shot, and then of course, oh. in classic cold fashion. Takes two in response. Whoa, language. Hey, Mucko. Oh my goodness. I can understand the frustration, though. Yeah. You know, must have felt good coming into this series, seeking revenge from yesterday's loss. You know, you get that 5-0 start, you're thinking, <laughs> suckers. Yeah, I think this and match is so much more about the fact that they played yesterday and just how sinks in. Liquid did not look like themselves and that FaZe looked better than ever. FaZe want to prove that they wasn't a fluke. Liquid want to prove that that really wasn't them and that they aren't leaving, that they aren't ending this week on that note. Yeah. Right? And like, like we were discussing on the desk, you know, like winning two series versus Liquid in the first weekend of 2020, uh -huh. that would feel real good. It's going to give them that edge, the confidence edge that Duncan was talking about. The confirmation in the back of your head that maybe Liquid aren't that good. And here we go. Looking to set themselves back into the A site yet again. Quick mid control running through smokes. They could have just tried to force their way up connector, but instead they'll throw a boost into the mix. And there is timing here. If Stewie can get past that scope of Brokey, then who knows what happens. But Nico and Rain, they're already combining for a lockdown on ramp. Nath and Stu, though, doubling back with a couple kills of their own. Still, Nico knows that he is being encroached upon from all directions. Oh, but it's not his kills to have. It's Brokey's on the op. And Stewie, 1v3 now, knows Nico's still pinned into this position. Doesn't know Cold's about to gain vision. And now it is the clutch attempt. Very, very doable here for Stu. 50 seconds to play off of. He understands and anticipates that this CT is rotating from elsewhere. Mm, dangerous plant. Could have been a spawn peak, but it's not the case. Stewie seems to be reading this correctly. Cole's going to confirm oh, it, and oh, down oh. he goes. Peeking out before Cold even has a chance. That's the 1v3 clutch from Stu. One on three. Beautifully done. That was that was great. Took a small risk there, but the SG's so strong. As a player comes around the default box, a chance he dies on that engagement. Overall, this looked terrifying, though. Those two kills with the, the combination straight down from Nico and Rain, holding it down long distance, the A ramp. You thought that was going to ice them out. Yep. But instead, yeah, they, they, they hold it out. They hold it together. So now we move into the last round of the half. Maximum potential here for Liquid is seven rounds. Faves has already done such a great job. I'm honestly surprised that Liquid have, has been able to pull out this many so far based on how well FaZe have been playing. Um, and just like in all the games that we're seeing, it's streaks. It's a strong start followed by a much better comeback. Of course. And then we've had these kind of fizzle outs towards the very end of halves. But I would say it's safe to say anybody's to finish this half with solid buys. Anybody's game still? Anybody's yeah. round, anybody's game. Yeah, but yeah, anything goes. You want it, it's yours. Just got to dig deep. Just gotta, just gotta search out that Mamba mentality, right? Yeah. Carpe DM. But the server does fall silent here as we hit the minute mark. Brokey's gonna be at the top of ticket, and there's gonna be way too many players for him to drop. He could start to shave them off, however. He's a little wary of Naf on ramp. Twists. He gets just one. Nico's hot on their heels. Jumped down from window and got within connector. But Stewie's back at it. A one versus four. Looking to go one better. Ooh. Nico charges straight at him, and FaZe will finish the half with a three round lead. Solid stuff coming out of them. They've got the series in the back pocket and an edge at the half. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back after the break. to say no chickens were harmed in the making of these videos. Welcome to the AIM Chicken Challenge presented by Betway and hosted by me, Rob Four from Betway. The aim of the game is simple. Each player is going to have 10 darts to throw at different point scoring chicken targets. The big chickens are worth five points, the medium chickens are worth 10 points, and the small chickens are worth 15 points. If you hit
گفته این ماسا Evet, bir şey oraya emrini bilmiyor.
Good morning. 